Hey, what's poppin' pizza pals? It's time for another edition of Jordan's Frozen Pizza Review. Every week, we pick out a frozen pizza and we rate it on five criteria. We got mouthfeel, topping sauce to crush ratio, consistency, packaging, and texture this week. As you can see, I'm rocking the Detroit Pistons, the 1990s uh, finals champion shirt, the bad boys, in commemoration of this potential bad boy, Detroit style pizza from Outsiders. Never heard of this before. Uh, pulled pork, bacon, and barbecue sauce. Now the only question about this Detroit style pizza is will this be a Ben Wallace or will this be a Darko Milicek? We'll find out. Check out this packaging, dude. So it's very 21 Pilots-esque, that black and yellow. Um, US inspected and passed by Department of Agriculture. Okay, government standards right now, not the highest. So that means nothing. I like the font. What is Detroit style? Detroit, city of caramelized cheese around the outside. Detroit pizza, the boss of pillowy and delicious. Here's the bit, what's with all of these different styles of pizza? You got Detroit, you got New York, you got Neapolitan. I see billboards from Minneapolis style pizzas. Stop, don't try and create your own pizza. Pizza is pizza and there's different variants. You don't even name it. Your city doesn't need to have a type of pizza, okay? What are you trying to do? Is this recyclable? Oh, look at this, do you see this? So it's perforated. So you can get, oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. This is cardboard. You can recycle this. Plus one. The goal is to not burn the pizza. Last week we burned the pizza. We're not doing that. We're gonna cook it on low heat this time. Uh, we have to keep it in the tray. All right. I'm concerned about the pork here and the caramelized onion and the cheese and stuff. What is, how does it smell? Smell test, real weird. You know when you go out to eat, you have a really nice date, and you bring home some leftovers and you don't eat them? It smells like your leftovers on like day three. All praise Detroit, what's going on? No one's praised Detroit. What, is, what am I, <laughs> Eminem? Greta Van Fleet? No one praises Detroit. It's the armpit of the Midwest, Detroit. No one's vacationing to Detroit. There's not like Detroit Dells, you feel me? Big Sean's from Detroit, I feel bad. <sighs> Will this fit? I don't think it's gonna fit. Okay, it does. It's time to put it in. My favorite part. All right, so right now the pizza is baking. Detroit style pizza, I don't get it. We have a transplant Detroitian here in the Twin Cities, our afternoon guy, Reed. Uh, let's see what he thinks about Detroit pizza and see if we can garner some insight. Reed, what is Detroit style pizza Yo. in your own words? Okay, Detroit style pizza is, um, it's, it's basically two small, large pizzas. So every piece has a corner on it. Two small, large pizzas. <laughs> Two small squ They're square pizzas. Square pizzas. Yes. So every piece is going to have a corner to it. Okay. Now let me ask you, because there's a couple different ways to do it. Was everything under the cheese? Um, it looks as though uh, the pulled pork was. The bacon sprinkles were not. Okay. All so right. under That's the cheese. That's kind of a thing. Under the cheese, a lot of the ingredients go You sometimes. can't claim that. You can't claim under the cheese. I don't know, man. I need to vent it. Because under the cheese can be just like a little bit you do. Like Broadway Pizza down the street does that. I do it in my personal life. What some people do, Shannon some people does don't. It. Yeah. Okay. It's not my favorite because I don't like corners. Okay. Okay. Not so a big corner guy. It's a square because every slice is a corner. It's just, it's like one square and then another square yeah. right next to it. Basically, Why? that's the traditional style. So every piece has a corner. I guess I don't know. I never liked Detroit style pizza. Oh. A rousing testimony from our <laughs> resident Detroitian. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. That smell, that smell is pretty good. It's, it's smelling nice. It's time for the hardest part, pulling out. Let's see what we got here. It's not burned. Ooh, ooh, look at that bubble. Hey, this might be something. Oh, oh baby, what we got here? We got a nice little, this is like a lasagna type thing going on. Oh my gosh. Look at how this thing baked. Look at that light crisp on the sides like Reed was talking about. Oh, it's hot. Be careful. This is something, if this is on Pinterest, you'd pin it. You'd like this. Double tap if it's on a pizza gram. My lord, we might have something here, boys. It's getting too hot in the kitchen. Time to test it. I don't care what shape the pizza is. If it's a square like that, if it's a circle, you can, a rhombus. Oh, I need a pizza cutter. Oh, man. This smells like a backyard barbecue. This smells like your homie's grad party, you know, when you pull up and like his stepdad is just out there. Maybe I'm speaking from my own experience, but his stepdad is just there making ribs or something. Oh man, this is defying all odds. This might be a badass pizza. It's with these barbecue type pizzas, it's very hard. You gotta get the ratio ingredient like prime and also you gotta make sure all the ingredients work together. You could have a, a tangy barbecue sauce. You could have like a hot spicy barbecue sauce. So I wanna make sure that works with the cheese 
with the um, the bacon and the and the pulled pork. I'm hoping for this to be more of a savory and rich barbecue sauce as opposed to a um, a hot barbecue sauce. Not saying that I'm anti-hot barbecue sauce. It's just because I want this pizza to be good. This pizza is defying all expectations. The packaging was great, a good four out of five. The smell is a fiver, no doubt about that. No doubt about that. Key distribution's good. I can already carry this pan. I can see I was kind of hating on the pan. I can already carry this plastic little number right here. Don't need this anymore. Let's go try the pizza. Full disclosure, I was not excited about the bacon and the pulled pork situation. I like them both. It's not like a religious thing. It's just that I was cautious. I'm looking, you know, I'm a pizza purist. This smells like a Pizza Hut $10 box. That's not bad. Let's just look at the pizza here. Wow. A rare mix of melty, floppy, but firm. Do you see that? How it made, it, it, it can, it kind of, it composes itself pretty well. That's a hearty za, bro. The, the hairs on my arm are standing up. We might have something. We might have something. First critique, pads on my fingers. They no longer smell, but they are a little bit burned. <laughs> don't touch the za until it's ready. Don't know, no matter how excited you are, always give the pizza five minutes to breathe. Always, always, always give the pizza five minutes to breathe. I'm a noted critic of greasy pizzas, okay? I'm not trying to clog all the arteries, just like two or three. This appears to have a little bit of grease, but I can't tell if that's the glisten of the melted cheese meat in the barbecue sauce or if it's grease. I am, I have a working hypothesis here that it is the mixture of the barbecue sauce and the cheese. This is not grease, this is just science. This is the ingredients interacting, you kidding me? Let's dig in. Oh my God. By Jove, we have something here. Look at that. Look at that, are you serious? Look at that amount of crust. Not very many ingredients falling off. Look at that stick. That cheese is just sticking to the side. It's not going anywhere. It's hanging on. That's good. Cooks good. With some primo ingredients. That barbecue sauce is just what you needed. Sweet, tangy. I could use some spice. Kind of have a little desert of ingredients here. Remember, we're looking for the ratio of ingredients on the pizza, both as they interact with each other and their placement on the za. A good amount of barbecue sauce. You don't want to over barbecue it because then the barbecue sauce drowns out the rest of the flavor. This crust is phenomenal. It's flaky. I'm, I'm just fascinated by this crust. It has the inside of a croissant, the flakiness of the croissant, but also can maintain like a pizza crust. This is a massive success. Instead of tasting individual ingredients, they're all coming together hitting me as a whole. I can't tell if I'm eating pulled pork barbecue or barbecue sauce or cheese or <laughs> the crust. It's all just working together to, to take me to Flavortown. Ticket for one, please, all aboard. The texture of this pizza, out of five, it's a five. The mouthfeel, I love what's going on in there right now. Give me more. That's an incredible mouthfeel. What is it, this is like a sleep number in my mouth. No corporate dollars. I didn't pay for that, that's my bud saying that. Bite for bite, and the thing's going with Tyson. You see? So I was talking about the grease, right? And is it the ingredients of the grease? That's minimal grease on my fingers. This, this hand's dry. They got a little bit right here, but this has been doing mostly interacting. Phenomenal. All in all, I gotta go in for round two. It's a round trip to Flavortown. The racial has been fantastic. There's a five. The amount of bacon bits, that's, where, that's what you're paying for is the bacon bits. You're getting bacon in every bite. The barbecue sauce is awesome. The barbecue sauce is soaking. No, I can't, you can't even really see it. It's soaking into the, the crust. So you get a nice, like a nice little surprise of barbecue sauce when you bite into the crust. It's like a water balloon of barbecue sauce, a barbecue balloon, as it were. Consistency amazing. Every bite is something good. Mouthfeel, texture, superb. This is a five out of five. I am shocked, I'm surprised. The scallions make it look great, good for the gram. This is about six to seven dollars za, so it's like a mid upper tier pizza. This is one of the better ones you can make, that's a good decision. Found this at Target in Fridley. Detroit style pizza, I highly recommend. Um, comment below, let me know which pizzas I should consider for next week's Jordan's Frozen Pizza Review. This is a five. Buy this for your family tonight, for your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your partner, 